What is going on, guys? We are live. Um, this is crazy. This is like the, I think maybe the third day in a row that I've gone live here. But we're live for a very, bam, we'll get that off my head there. We're live for a very specific reason. If you were in my uh, last feed and uh, I introduced you to my good friend Hattie, you know Hattie's had some issues. Hattie has had some issues. Well, who is Hattie? Um, no, you didn't miss it. We're here. Are you here? Can you see me? Say hi. Um, you didn't miss it, brother. Uh, we, we just started. Type, I can see you or whatever. That way I know you're there. But uh, definitely did not miss it. So, Hattie's had some issues. And uh, who's Hattie? Who's this Hattie person? Roadkill, what is going on, brother? Happy to see you here. And uh, War Warland, what's going on, brother? Let me just call you drama. That'll sum it up better. So, all right. So, Hattie. Not this Hattie. Bam, J-Drone Hattie. Um, but this Hattie has had some issues and it's slightly annoying me um what's going on jack to the point where uh i'm getting very frustrated with this with this hat cam not so much the hat cam or my setup my setup's pretty simple i kind of went over the setup before but low power <laughs> two minutes into the flight low power and that's after it might how talks dude um and that's after charging man and that that kind of mildly annoys me it usually holds out to the point where i can finish the whole recording and finish the flight but uh it's ridiculous so we're gonna give hattie an upgrade so uh i'm gonna I'm going to go over a couple things with you guys. Maybe some of you didn't know. Bob, what's going on, brother? Happy to see you here. Um, I'm going to go over a couple things with you. These have uh, these have batteries. There's 3.7 volt batteries that are in them that are interchangeable. If you if you're if your battery in this goes, don't throw your camera away. Don't get a new camera. You can get other batteries for this. So let me show you what type of battery goes in this. If you're not familiar, Bam, zoom, 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 and is it going to focus? It's not going to focus. Not going to focus. Where's it? Where's the camera? Camera's over here. It's focused. Hold on, guys. We're just going to go ahead. I have this on a tripod. We're going to flip this around to the better side of the camera. Here we go. Uh, Joey, what's going on, brother? Is this going to focus? Focus? We're not focusing. Camera's not focusing, guys. Um, anyway, let me try to read this. It's a 3.7 volt uh, lithium ion battery. So this is what's inside. Hattie. So let's see what uh, his battery looks like. And there is a milliamp an hour on this. Um, let's see here. It is... This one is 1,050 milliamps an hour. So Hattie, we are going to take Hattie out of here. And again, this just pops out. And... Flying Jersey, what's going on, brother? We are we're reviving Hattie. Hattie's had a rough life, uh, been used and abused and taken out into the cold, and the battery's not holding up anymore. And I've charged this battery actually off a hobby grade charger that's in here, and no go. And as you can see on the back of Hattie, I have a little pad here that it fits in this X8 mount. This is a SEMA X8 mount or a SIMO, whatever you want to say. This is an X8 mount on top of a hat. That's my setup. You guys can do it. All you need is drill upwards and then pop. Then you just put your hat cam in there um but all right so let's check out let's see what hattie has inside and i think the milliamp is an hour and actually a little bit larger on this camera but you just go ahead and pop that open you grab this little tab here bam's up and bam that's hat that's hattie's power right there dude um this one is a 3.7 same same milliamp an hour 1050 time to upgrade well time to revive again hattie's had a rough life so the this is actually the battery that goes in this. The battery in this was an extra battery for this, and I have this charge. The battery in this has not been used for anything. So it is getting a direct transplant into Hattie. So we are just going to go ahead and pop this open as we drop that. And look, that was the thread I was talking about, guys. This thread is huge. None of my cameras have a thread like this. I can put this on a tripod just like we have here. Like, we'll go ahead and flip it back toward me. Bam, we're back towards me. Look, I'm hands-free. Um, I have my cell phone on a tripod. And with this, with, with that thread right there, dude, I can essentially put that on there. I have a question. Does the Firefly Q6 uh, 4K record sound? Firefly Q6 does record sound. It absolutely does record sound. And, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm thinking about that. I'm pretty sure it records sound. Um, hmm. Yes, I'm positive the Q6 records sound, man. All right, so we got this fresh battery out of uh, out of that drone. And again, this is a 1,050 milliamp an hour battery. We are going to put it in here. And I don't know that you can see in there. Probably not. There's metal teeth in there. 
you want to make sure you match up your metal teeth we're going to go ahead and pop that in there then we are going to grab this and we are going to just stick that right there and bam transplant done battery transplant done hattie has a new heart um MD, what's going on, brother? Uh, MD, if y'all missed uh, MD, he was live earlier. I chilled with him the entire time. I was with him for like two hours. We ain't going to be on this feed live that long. And why don't we go ahead and flip it back over here? Um, nice to know you can upgrade the battery. Yes, you can definitely. Dude, you don't. These batteries, they're, dude, you can buy them on Amazon just like LiPo batteries. And I have tons of, tons of, tons of uh, action cameras. But. That's that's my go-to for my hat cam. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and pop this back around. Uh, yes, you did. Thank you for that. Absolutely, man. Uh, it, it was. Let's let's go ahead and put this out this way a little bit so you can actually see me. I have this on a tripod because I wanted to show you what I was doing directly. So instead of being the, hey, what's going on, J Drone? Um, we'll put this out here as I'm talking just for a minute here. Yeah, dude. I mean that. That's what the drone community is about. We should be helping one another and supporting one another. And if one of us are going live and we don't got nothing better to do, although I was doing stuff, I had multiple windows open, dude, I'm there. And even even if I'm not fully paying attention to the feed, I'm there. I'm getting your I mean I'm getting your watch time up and I'm interacting as I hear things. Uh like when you told me you were gonna go grab your inspire. I really wasn't watching the feed, but I heard that, and I'm like, yo, let me jump back over here <laughs> and uh, definitely check it out. But uh, all right, so we're gonna set we're gonna set this back down, and we are going to stabilize, stabilize, and then we are just gonna flip this back over here. Um, and I think I have it out a little bit too far. We can't see my table. Let's pop that down there. Bam! Look, I'm hands free. Um, it is on a tripod. Uh, Roadkill, you are the man, brother. Um, sorry, check it out. So now, which one was which? All right, this one. It actually says it on there. Uh, Victura, this is this is done. Just as well as this one is done. This one right here is done as well. And this is a smaller milliamp an hour. Nope, still same milliamp. D dude, these batteries are all the same size. Um, 1,050 milliamp an hour. That came out of my... Uh my 360 degree camera um and uh yes youtube community what up flying jersey um flying jersey's just getting started everybody go check his channel if y'all have time he's working with a hubson and lots of dm009s um this this bluish one which again is the same exact size same connection came out of this and this is my 360 degree camera and that's just because i left this in my car for like six months <laughs> so uh the battery kind of fried on it and we've already upgraded this one so what we have to do we got one more thing to do we got to drop this into 4k uh people said i got you jersey bam flying jersey just got subbed that's what it's about guys helping one another out um and then we're just gonna pop that in there we are gonna pop this in here um and again guys if people are subbing to you especially on these feeds um check them out hit them back dude uh bam that's it we're done upgrade complete now we'll go ahead and put this back towards me and bam that's towards the ceiling click click and we'll hold it out here here we do we can go crazy high with this this thing's on such an extender i don't know how that's gonna work there bam um all right we're gonna Woo! there goes the phone phone just popped right out of it <laughs> um here we could show you what i was working with here that's no, not on the tripod there check it out so this base mount this base mount is off of like a gopro setting and then this huge <laughs> It's massive, dude. This huge thing I've attached to it, which actually came with this 4K camera, which, again, has a thread on it, and I could actually thread this all the way on top of this, and look, check it out. Bam. Oh, we just broke it. We just broke it, man. That little knot, nub fits right into there, which we kind of, we didn't break it, but let's see if I, I don't know if I'll be able to put that back on there with uh, one hand. Uh, and I don't got another tripod in here. So uh, let's see. Maybe we, we can stand this up right there because it has my case on it. We'll go ahead and flip this around. Flip around. And bam. We are down here. What up, guys? Here, check it out. So we are just going to. Nice cameraman. Hands free. Absolutely. And it. Pop. There we go. All right. We're back in business. So we're going to flip this back around. And we are not going to damage our tripod anymore. <laughs> 
But uh, yeah, so I mean, very simple setup. And generally when I'm out, when I'm doing my abandoned adventures, this bottom part with a camera on top of it, just like that mount, is exactly what I'm walking around with. Generally, I don't have monstrosity like that. But I found uh, this setup is pretty good for me when i'm doing when i'm doing like basic instructionals on like a table yo jay i got the visio um i know you got it once my camera worked i'm thinking may just be cheap and maybe broke it may be just cheap and it may be broke the visio is a cool drone it's a good flying drone i wasn't thrilled with the camera myself um i had better hopes for the camera and i think i had the upgraded version on it so uh that's that but uh yeah dude hattie Bam! Um, lost you, bro. Uh, you lost me. You lost the connection, or uh, you lost uh, what we were talking about. <laughs> um, got your back. Thanks. In and out feed. I apologize for the in and out feed. I lost you. Everybody's saying lost me. I'm still seeing a clear feed here. Let me know if it comes in clear. If not, I do apologize. Where did you go? Back, back. Everybody's saying back. Back at you. Back, back, back. Are we back? Are we back? uh connection went out for a second dude it's weird my my oil heater which is a furnace just clicked on and i've had issues with that before i don't think i'm on my five five g i have a dual band throughout my house i think if i was on my five g i wouldn't uh it wouldn't be affected but i think somehow my oil burner is operating off 2.4 gigahertz <laughs> um I don't know how that works, man. But uh, people have made that observation that well, I don't know if you could hear it. There's actually a fan running right behind me in the next room is actually where my oil burner is. And once that kicks off, for some reason, it knocks me off here and it bounces stuff. I don't know, man. But um, yeah, it's weird, dude. Hattie. That is Hattie, dude. I've had this for a while and I love this camera because it talks to me. Here, check it out. We'll turn it on. Wait for it. We, we got that. Right? Here, everybody listening? I don't even know the microphone is on here. She said video starts. Video stop. She said video stop. <laughs> um, this is the only action camera I have that talks to me, and I love it. Um, I'm thinking maybe just cheap. Maybe I broke it. Have you had experience problems with it? I haven't had problems with it, but you guys got to understand something. Unless I'm, unless I'm committed to a drone like the Alcema, I'm committed to the Bugs Three. I'm committed to the the whole Bug series. I'm committed to. Um, I'm looking around my room. Uh, Traxxas, the Traxxas drones. I'm committed to. Um, my Wingsland drones. I'm committed to. Um. Some of your other toy grade stuff, I'm committed to. A lot of other drones, I'm not really committed to, like like the drone you're speaking of. So I haven't flown it enough to encounter those problems. Um, your Bugs Three, I could put a stamp on it. Uh, I've flown the heck out, heck out of the Bugs Three. Your whole Bugs lineup, pop, put that J drone stamp on it. Um, I I can sign off on them because I put them through the ringers. Um, the, even the Tarantula X6, dude. Tarantula X6 for a brush toy grade. I can sign off on it. Have you messed with the camera you got get with the F100? I didn't get a camera with mine. Uh, a lot of guys are saying they got a camera with the F100 drone. I didn't get a camera with mine. I feel kind of salty about that, but I definitely did not get a camera with mine. Um, and mine's actually, uh, if it's okay with Jay, check it out. Have the Vizio. Bam! Absolutely. Check out Bob's channel. Bob has a Vizio. He's probably flown. Uh, he's probably flown it more than I have. MD says uh, he didn't get a camera either. We are both salty. Anybody else get a camera? Want to rub it in her face? Throw salt in her eyes? Thanks a lot, guys. No. <laughs> um, but no, my my uh, my my drone is right there. There's my F100 that I showed you guys how to do an FPV setup, which is simply that camera on top and the battery. Um, but uh, let's see, we're scrolling down. Don't be salty, bro. I'm a little bit salty. I'm a little bit salty. I love cameras, dude. I, I did a whole I did a whole thing on drone days, and I might have even done something on YouTube with all my action cameras lined up and whatnot. I love me some action cameras. Right now, here, we could turn this around. Look at some action cameras. Um, we got one there. We got a lineup over there. GoPro. Dude, I love me some action cameras. Um with salt comes seasoning absolutely but uh all right guys unless you guys have any questions comments concerns this was just a real quick feed letting you guys know 
I'm sick of Hat Hattie talking nonsense when I'm starting my videos. She did it today, and I didn't hear her. I did the DM007 out in like 11 mile per hour wind, straight brick out, and uh, what's the best HD camera for HD aerial shots? Smash that like button. Yes, smash the like button, guys. Um, I don't know. It depends what you want to go with. It depends what you want to spend. Dude, I had a... Uh, yeah, I was salty when I seen all the kids. <laughs> Don't be salty. You got a free one with your drone. Um, I, dude, I had I had an access cam, which the X16 from Bang Toys did a little barrel roll on a flip, and I lost it. That was a twenty dollar camera. That was a twenty dollar true sixty frames per sec. Sixty frames. Uh, I can't even talk. 1080p, 60p, 60 frames per second. I, I believe that's what it is. Um, that was a true camera, dude. Do you still own the Unic Breeze? Yes, I still own the Unic Breeze. I've never flown it. <laughs> um, and my closet's a little bit of a mess. It's in there. It's back in there somewhere. My Unic Breeze, actually, see those shoes right there? The OG Kevin Garnett shoes right there? Um, it's underneath there. Um... You're late, but you're still here, DZ. Um, 007 is bad. Thanks for... Yeah, dude. Dude, I seen the DM007 for $20, $19.99. I had to turn everybody on to it. Dude, and I know I turned a lot of people on to it. Um, this is my old one here. My new one's actually out in my living room because that's what I flew. But this is my old one. Ah, tastes good. No, not really. Uh, is it worth getting 4K camera over 1080p cam? If you got a 4K TV, if you got a 4K, uh, if you have a 4K computer, you might want to get 4K. I don't have 4K anything besides these cameras. I can still upload 4K to YouTube as I did with this guy to test to make sure it was shooting in 4K, but I can't view it on my computer. It's all sketchy. Like it, dude, it's, it, it's kind of like this where it's just skipping and whatnot. Um, iPhone 4K. I don't know if my iPhone's 4K. I would assume it would be. Um, you get your you get your DM007 tomorrow. Bam! You ain't gonna be disappointed. DM007 is excellent. I do 1080s, dude. That's what I do. 90% of everything I do is 1080, 60 frames per second, and I might be able to reach. Can I reach? Stretch your arm, J Drone. Bam! Hey, y'all want to see what I started off with? Let's see if this is what I started off with. I still have it. I, I, I would say for about the first half a year, this is what I was using. I don't know if I could get it out of the case. Let's see if I could pop it out of the case. Bam, I popped it out of the case. This is what I was using right there. That's what I was using, dude. As a display screen, um, this is what I was using for everything, man. I, I had this strapped to a hat cam just like I had the other one, and this was my camera. I had no other cameras, and this is what it was. So, dude... If you're looking, if you're asking for YouTube reasons, dude, don't go out and break the bank. Do what you got to. Um, do what you have accessible to you. And these, dude, these were at Walmart. And one thing I really like about this is the centered eye. The eye is centered as opposed to every other camera off center. Off center. Let's grab a GoPro. GoPro off center. Put the dang lens in the center. <laughs> um, I have the same chair in my dining room. Bam, you like that chair. That chair I got out of uh, one of my residents. Uh, I have a couple of residential homes that I do work for. Uh, like I do window cleaning. I, I do outside cleanups, inside cleanups and whatnot. Um, they hooked me up with that. They hooked me up with the desk too. Um, my desk that's all cluttered out the wazoo that's just got tons of, look at J drone's desk J drone's mess it's like his brain um yeah dude i mean i had this room cleaned up it's not cleaned up anymore because i'm a child dude when it's time to play i'm playing i'm running in here i'm grabbing a drone and i'm out i'm running outside bye baby see you later <laughs> right and then I come back in, I'll drop that drone in the living room, which my wife don't like. And then uh, I'll come back in here and I'll grab another one. And then the wife gets on my case. And then I got to pick up the drones from the living room. I got to bring them back in here. And uh, this is uh, th this this is the way it looks. Dude, this was clean. You Dude, the whole floor, man. Whole floor was visible not even maybe four days ago. Because uh, I had to clean everything out of one of my areas that we redid the floors. We dropped a new stove in. Um, sounds familiar. Absolutely, man. It, Dude, I don't do this for any other reason besides I love doing this. If I didn't love doing this, I'd probably be playing with my Hot Wheels because I got a massive Hot Wheel collection too. Um, the whole, let's see. Nope, we double tapped it. 
the whole underside of that table is full of boxes of Hot Wheels. Um, I showed my wife your room. She said mine better. <laughs> and then up here, I have die-cast cars up there, which are being attacked by drones, as you can see. Which, actually, there's not one in there, because I used to customize drones as well. Like, or I used to customize Hot Wheels cars as well. I used to drill the rivets out of them, throw Dope Boy wheels on them, paint them and whatnot. Um, thanks, bro. I'll sp stick with 1080p, no 4K monitor. And, yeah, dude, if, if you don't have a 4K computer, if you don't have a 4K, uh, a 4K TV... There's really no point in spending that extra cheddar to go 4K. Uh, I mean, again, I got lots of cameras that say 4K, and I'm shooting in 1080 60. Um, and that's, I mean, you figure, uh, Yahtzee. <laughs> um, what was the green and black drone there? The green and black drone. That drone sent right there? Hold on, wait, wait. How long have you had the alias? Not long. Uh, I haven't even flown it. This drone right here, that drone right there, is that the one we're talking about? Yep, that's the Traxxas. And excuse my shaky hand because we got the zoomed all the way in. That's the Traxxas uh, Aton or Aton, whatever people want to say. I enunciate and pronunciate things a little bit differently than most people because my reading sucks. <laughs> um, yes, the Dromeda's there too somewhere. Let's go ahead and put this around. But uh, yeah, dude, the Traxxas... That drone's king. I got the full setup on it. Monster energy adding. Yes, the monster. You had to have the monster. I got that under $100. Marketplace. Love it. Um, Love the cut. That's my color. That is my favorite color. That lime greenish color, dude, it just pops my eyes and it's just like, yes. Like that's that to me, that is the dopest color, plain point, period. And uh, that's why I got this WL toy uh, little crawler. Almost same exact color. Had to have the green. I didn't want the other colorway. And uh, that's 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 my color, yo. And I don't have too many drones with that color on it. But alright guys, I said I wasn't gonna make this last too long, although I could hang out here with you guys forever. Never knew they were that color. The the Traxxas, the the Adams or the WL Toys, or both. Um the dang, what's up with the Ecto? Yes, the Ecto! Who are you gonna call? J drone, do 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 do. <laughs> um, the Adam, yes, easy. They weren't sold. You cannot go out and buy that. They weren't sold. They were gas station promotions. You, uh, dude, and I got second in the gas station promotion. Dude, you had to. This is when I used to drink energy drinks. I don't drink energy drinks anymore because, bam, I'm normally a hyper person. I'm, uh, it's not your reading because you're from. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's see. Ha ha. Yes, ha ha. I'm laughing with you, brother. But, uh, yeah, dude. So, I, dude, I used to smash energy drinks, right? And for shout out everyone that helped me appreciate it. I right, fly in Jersey. So, every time you get two energy drinks, you get a drop in the hat. Uh, sorry, the stream skipped. Is there a drone that can take collision the best? Uh, yeah, dude, there's a drone that can take collision the best. I kicked the heck out of it. It's made by Burby. Um, like, dude, I call it the kickable drone. Uh, check out my videos. Check out J Drone Kick Drone. You'll find it. Um, but anyway, yeah, so smashing energy drinks. Buy two, get a tip in a bucket. Buy two, get a tip in a bucket. Buy two, and dude, Dude, I was in there every day. My wife still drinks energy drinks. So you figure how many energy drinks we went. I go in the day of the drawing, the day after the drawing. They're like, you won. And I'm like, what? Like, dude, I'm that drone, dude. And I just want a drone. And they hand me a poster. They hand me a monster energy drink poster. And I'm like, yo, what is this? Like, oh, you won second. I'm like, come on, dude. Like. Come on, I, come on, like really? So I hunted that drone down. I try, I, I hunted the Traxxas adding down on Marketplace. It was in Philadelphia. I talked to dude way, way down low, and he shipped it to me, and I got it. Um, they played me. They played me, dude. They're like, yeah, you want it? I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And here's your post. Yo, wasn't happy. 
I wasn't happy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so so that's how I came to the liking of the added monster by feeling salty by getting a poster. Um, I need your energy to keep up with you. <laughs> Dude, I got energy out the wazoo. I played soccer. I ran track. Uh, let's see, soccer, track, wrestling. I was a wrestler in high school. Um, I play street ball. Like, I'm a very active person. Love mountain biking. Love mountain climbing. And I'm just... That's, dude, I got energy out the wazoo. It's what time? It's probably like 11 o'clock at night or something, and I'm ready to go. Let's do something. Um, and this is all natural. I, I don't do drugs. I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't drink beer. I don't I don't 420 anymore. I used to be that 420 kid. I used to be 420 blaze all the time. But uh, nah, dude, all natural, man. It's, it's, it's healthy living that keeps me uppity um haha those d's come over we will fly <laughs> yeah <laughs> let me take a long trip over to you md um but yeah what were you oh ecto let's see about ecto. i haven't drove it yet because the roads outside are garbage and here we'll just go grab it and we're zooming in like it's that far away it's in a different state i can't go grab it um hold on hold on all right so i love this for many reasons one, besides an Ecto, does anybody know what type of car this is? Anybody? Anybody know what type of car this is? Somebody said, bam, from drama. Love a little bam in my life. Bam, 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 bam. Anybody? Anybody know what type? Bam! It's actually a 59 Cadillac, if I'm not mistaken. I may be mistaken. A 58. It's either a 58 or a 59 Cadillac Hearse. Okay? So... Cadillac is my joint. I own two Cadillacs. I've always owned Cadillacs. Since I'm 19 years old, I've always had a dope boy Cadillac. Always a big bodied Cadillac. My first one was the 1977 Coupe de Ville. Since then, I had Eldorados, had Coupe de Ville, Sedan de Ville, Fleetwoods. Right now, I own a Coupe de Ville and also a Sedan de Ville, both 81s. So Cadillac, right? My wife got me this. Um, and uh, here, let's see. We, we, got, we got noise. Let's see. Hold on. Maybe? Nope. Nope, hold on. We can make it make noise, I think. Um, just found heck of a deal on the Traxxas. Let's see. Yeah! What? Right? So it's a caddy. J Drone likes uh, shiny things and lights. This thing's got shiny things and lights. And bam! It's, uh, it, it's nostalgic movie memorabilia um and i don't know that you can see up there in my mess but if we zoom in we got the back to the future car up there batman cars up there more cadillacs more batman cars um i'm into the whole movie type thing nostalgia and I, i'm with it cars and movies and bam who are you gonna call j drone dude 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 yes call j drone but uh yeah the, the tires on this are definitely definitely got to be on a clean surface they are rubber but they're 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 not really low profile but compared to something like that they're they need to be on a flat surface and this, this is kind of low low kind of low rider type material so we're gonna wait for a cleaner day to take this out but i definitely want to take that out transmitter over there uh gun trigger transmitter so definitely stoked about that look at them white walls yes white walls absolutely both of my caddies got white walls on them gotta have those white walls uh but yeah, that's what's up with the act, though. My wife knows me pretty good. Um, and she, dude, I wasn't expecting it. I didn't know it. I opened it up, and I thought it was just uh, something not to play with. I thought it I thought it was like, bam, look at this dope Cadillac. Look at it, look at the design. It's got to stay in a box because that's what it is because I have cars like that. And then I look on it, it says RC. I'm like, hold up, RC? This is a remote control car? I'm like, yes, this is like the best thing since three slices of bread. Why do I say three slices? Is bread because you take you take your hamburger right and we ain't using hamburger patty bread we're using bread we're on the low low here right we're trying to save money for more drones we put the hamburger in between two pieces of bread right so we smash through that and because the bread's dude the bread's thin man you got to have that third slice it's better than three slices of bread trust me on that <laughs> um jam sandwich yes we can do jam sandwiches i love me some jam sandwich i tell you what i love better than a jam sandwich i love me some fluff Nutter and peanut butter dude that is like the most gobbiest mess in your mouth whatsoever but it tastes so good um and chili ramen 
do chili ramen. If you ain't never had ramen noodles, get you some ramen noodles, they're good. But if you ain't never had chili ramen noodles, your life is incomplete. I'm telling you right now, I don't care what drone you have. Your life is incomplete if you ain't never eaten chili ramen noodles. Just saying. Um, eat ramen noodles, more money for drones. Dude, talk, talking about being lucrative, talk about pinching them pennies. I mean, granted, my wife's a good cook and I don't get to eat ramen enough. Dude, I love me some ramen. I, I got like poor boy mentality. But uh, my wife, she's Italian. She's a very good cook and she cooks for me almost every day. We got that brand new stove hooked up. She's learning how to use it. Cause she, dude, she was on an old school stove that was in here. Um, Cause this used to be my grandfather's place. Um, I just bought some chili ramen the other day. Bam! Chili ramen in the house. And the stove that she was used to cooking on, you turn a knob and bam, that's it. Not no more. This stove got a computer on it. Um, DX3 over your left shoulder. My left shoulder. Bam. My right shoulder. Your left. But my right. Yes. Uh, DX3 over there. Here. We'll check out. Uh, Hold on. I'll get up. I'll get up. Get up. Get up. We'll check out my wall, I guess. Bam. That That's, that's my wall right there. And... We're kind of black and light. We got a DX3 there uh, that I did a uh, fluffer nutter. You don't know what fluffer nutter is? Um, dude, I picked that up for like $20, and that was a marketplace deal, too. This is the worst drone in the world right there, that guy. Never flew right for me. I, Dude, I slammed that on a review, dude. It's like, if you want a drone that's not going to fly great, you want this drone. <laughs> I slammed that drone, dude. Um, fluffer nutter. Rogue. Y'all know what fluffer nutter is? Fluffernutter, everybody else know what Fluffernutter is? Roadkill, do you know what Fluffernutter is? Or are you just saying Fluffernutter because Fluffernutter is a fun word to say? You don't know what, what? Dude, you don't know what Fluffernutter is either. What? Yes, it's fluff, dude. It's it's marshmallow. It, it comes in like a peanut butter container or a jelly container. And it's just fluffy marshmallow. You scoop out and you gob all over your sandwich. Put peanut butter on and nom, nom, nom. It is the most stickiest mess in your mouth, but is the best, dude. It, it, chili ramen. Dude, if y'all ain't tried it, Fluffernutter, fluff and peanut butter. Absolutely. Um, if you have not tried a Fluffernutter sandwich and chili ramen, do me a favor. Make that on the next week's goals. And then get back at me on one of these live feeds and let me know how you're feeling. Because I promise you, you're going to be feeling pretty good. You're actually going to be feeling a little bit salty that mom and dad never introduced you to these things. Because they are amazing. And they're poor boy food, dude. They are save my money and buy more drone food, dude. Like, and they taste good. It don't taste like cardboard. Um, <laughs> like, like you can, you can, you can have certain foods that are poor boy, poor boy foods. Sounds like breakfast of champions. Absolutely, breakfast of champions, dude. And it, 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 if you wanna, don't know, bro. No, do it, roadkill. Go to your grocery store. One chili ramen. You know what ramen noodles is, I'm sure. Chili ramen, if you can find it, I think Walmart started selling it. You could definitely buy it online for the longest. You could only buy it online. So chili ramen, that's the spicy ramen. It's good. And then go get you some fluff. That's what it's called. Some peanut butter. Make you a fluff and another sandwich. Sit back. Relax. Don't just ram it. Sit back. Sit back on that recliner. Grab the sandwich and put it in your mouth and chew on it. Dude, you're going to be like, yo. J Drone was right. This is amazing. I'm going to have to tell everybody about this. But don't tell everybody about it, right? I'm telling you guys, don't tell everybody about it because then they're going to sell out. And then I ain't going to be able to get my fix. So just between us, keep it between us. Now I got to go get some late night. Dude, where they sell peanut butter and where they sell jelly, they sell fluff. Um, <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, dude. Again, bouncy ball, right? This is a little bouncy ball, and this little square box, what you're viewing me in, is like a room. So this little square box you're viewing me in on your computer, on your TV, or whatever, is a room. And this is a bouncy ball, right? Throw that bouncy ball in this room. Boing, 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 boing. It's just going to... Dude, that's my brain. That's my brain. <laughs> um, but all right, guys, I don't know. Unless uh, unless anybody else has anything else they would like to say, comments, questions. Uh, I had the chili... How'd you like the chili ramen? 
I never had chili ramen before. I had, uh, I follow Jay into the fire of drone head. I'm not trying to fluff. Try to fluff. You're trying to fluff, dude. If you're willing to go into a burning fire with Jay drone, you're going to smash some fluff. And then, like, then then you're just going to, you're going to call mom up and be like, bring, bring. She'd be like, hello? Like, mom, what's wrong with you? You ain't never got me no fluff. Like, I'm sorry. I was keeping it for myself. What? You was keeping it for? I promise you mom had it. I promise you she did. Uh, send him a fluff sandwich. <laughs> drone giveaway. No drone today. Fluff sandwich. UPS. Um, mom sounds hood. <laughs> Mom might have mom mom might have grew up in the hood. She might have she might have grew up rough. You, you don't know, right? Um, my mom did, and I me me per se, I kind of grew up in that mentality where I grew up around the whole urban style and whatnot. Thus the whole flat brimmed hat, and you guys see how I dress sometimes. I grew up in that facade. Um, I I grew up in a private school. My mother was actually in the military. My my mother's far from hood. <laughs> um, and I out of my family, I'm dude. I got a wholesome white family. It's your t typical quintessential wholesome white family. Everybody hunts. Um, what my uncle's a truck driver, um, and I, I kind of don't fit the par a little bit. Chili ramen is the bomb. Chili ramen is the bomb. Bam, bam. I'm chili ramen. If you ain't tried it, try it, and then go for that fluff. Um, but yeah, so I, I, I kind of got shipped off to, to an area where I was a minority and I was surrounded by uh, a lot of other ethnicities and uh, kind of took on to the culture and I kind of dig the culture. Um, I grew up listening to country uh, because, again, the quintessential uh, white wholesome family or whatever. And then uh, then I kind of got thrown out of that into the urban into the urban style. And I, I dug it. And I took to it. We call the rednecks here. Wait, wait, hold on. Or maybe I read it. We call them rednecks here. I think that's exactly what you said. Um, we call that rednecks here. Absolutely. That's uh, I mean, that's that's. That's kind of my family. <laughs> um, redneck hair is sure Maryland. Yeah, dude. Um, let's see here. Cooking with J Drones ramen and fl yes, dude. And here, if you guys missed it, I'll turn you on to something else. Um, if you like seafood, chances are you've had Old Bay seasoning. Um, yeah, that's rednecks down in Florida. Yeah, so it's rednecks everywhere. So essentially, my family's rednecks, and uh, I kind of, I kind of got pulled away from that mold when I got sent off to private school. Um, but I, so if you like, so goals, food goals, food goals on a drone channel. What sense is this making? Um, <laughs> fluff, gotta try fluff. Chili ramen, if you ain't tried that, and here's one for you. Everybody likes hot dogs, right? Everybody likes hot dogs. You can't say you don't like hot dogs. Military parents let you get around a lot of culture. Yes. Um, and my mom's very open-minded to stuff, too. Um, so so me coming in with baggy jeans and, uh, and baggy shirts at the time and really colorful shoes and whatnot, I really didn't get ragged on. My grandpa didn't take too lightly to it uh, at first, but then he, he's okay with it now. Uh, use a drone to deliver your order of steaks. Uh, Nathan's Hot Dogs. Okay, good. We are back on hot dogs. Everybody likes hot dogs right somebody tell me they don't like a hot dog and uh and i'm kicking you out of the group no <laughs> i'm joking um um ben son is in the house son what is going on brother happy to see you here um Coggle snap for me. Coggle snap. What is that? Uh, but anyway, hot dogs. All right. Well, last food thing, and then we're we're gonna end this. Although this is much fun, I could do this forever, dude. Um, but uh, got got spend time with the wife. Got to got to relax and unwind because again, today I uh today I did one of my residential communities and left my wife at home and she wasn't too happy and whatnot. But all right. So, hot dogs. Everybody likes hot dogs. Do me a favor. All right here. Rewind. Does anybody in here know what Old Bay seasoning is? Um, Nathan hot dogs at Sam Clugs are the bomb. Bam! Everybody's getting on the hot dog kick. Bam! I love me some Sheets hot dogs with uh, with all types of stuff on it. We'll touch on that in a minute. If you got a strong gut, maybe you could try my hot dog challenge. But uh, for for the minimal guts here, um, do you know what Old Bay seasoning is? Yep, Old Bay, Old Bay, Old Bay. Uh, ate them tonight, no joke. Okay, so Old Bay seasoning is traditionally put on. Uh, it's traditionally put on seafood. Uh, modern culture has people putting it on popcorn and whatnot. 
Put it on a hot dog. Put Old Bay seasoning on a hot dog and tell me how much your life has changed. It will change for the better. You'll be walking with lighter feet. You Again, it's one of those things that you are going to experience. And you're just going to what? I can't believe I haven't done this before. Uh, can't get Nathan's down here. We could only get him up north. Uh, yep, I am trying. Dude, try it. I promise you. I'm not telling you anything gross. This isn't the J Drone Gross channel. Okay, try this. This is stuff that I eat. Um, sorry. So if you if you want to try it, try it. And I promise you, it's good. Um, a hot dog with Old Bay on it. You're gonna love life. All right. So. Now, do, do you have a strong gut? Anybody in here has a strong gut that can eat super hot wings and can eat all types of crazy stuff and think you're the, you're, you're the ironclad gut guy? Well, that's me. Dude, I could smash me some hot dogs. I could eat hard-boiled eggs on top of it and, uh, and uh, drink some chocolate milk over top of that, right? So, okay, so we got hot wing people in here. We got uh, Old Bay and French fries. Dude, absolutely do it. Um, I'll take the Old Bay challenge, but that fluff, no chance. You gotta try to fluff, dude. Um, <laughs> what Old Bay on a hot dog? Yes, do the Old Bay on a hot dog. I promise you, it is amazing. Um, so, all right. So, if you like them crazy hot wings, you got that strong gut. Everybody says, dude, you you got a you got a clad iron gut. I don't know how you're eating that stuff. Here you go. Does everybody in here uh? What is Old Bay? It's not O-B. It's Old, O-L-D, B-A-Y. Old Bay. It's traditionally put on uh, seafood. Hey, dude, just join. What are we talking about? We, yes, we are talking about food, man. Um, first thing's Fluffernutter. If you haven't had a Fluffernutter sandwich, Google it. Try it. Second thing is Chili Ramen. Now we're talking about something else. What Old Bay on hot dogs? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, Old Bay on hot dogs. Yes, dude, Old Bay on hot dogs. Do not knock it. Again, I'm weird. You guys know I'm weird. I'm bang, bang, bouncy ball, bouncing all around. It is great. Obey on a hot dog is great. Dude, my drone says it's great. You guys like drones, right? The drone. Try Obey on a hot dog. Dude, he said it's great. Um, I'm saying it's great. Um, but here. So, if you guys have that clad iron gut, um, got to eat before you can fly. Absolutely. Definitely got to eat before you can fly. Uh, marshmallow peeps. I love me some marshmallow peeps. I like the colored ones, too. I like the sour apple ones. I got those blue ones that they came out with. I love me some peeps. I love marshmallow. Marshmallow ice cream is my favorite. Anyway, back to the hot dogs. So, you got the clad iron gut. You can eat anything. Everybody's a stuff. How can you eat that? Check it out. Go to Sheets. Everybody got Sheets. Everybody can go to Sheets and go on the MTO, made to order. Everybody type yes. Everybody knows Sheets can do that. Obey season, original, six, so they call it. Yes, basically, yes. You got it. You got it, Bob. Um, does everybody have Sheets? And why are we going to uh, wait? Wifey going to ask how the drone feels. <laughs> Yeah. How'd the drone feed go? Well, it went well. Can you can you cook me a hot dog and uh, get the bread out and uh, like what were you talking about, dude? Um, but yeah, so sheets. Everybody have sheets. Sheets here in Jersey. No sheets here. No sh what regulators? No sheets, MD. You're missing out, bro. What about everybody else? Well, you could do this on your own, MD. Um, all right, so. Go into Sheets, and for the people who don't have Sheets, get your list out. You're going to want to order. Sheets is a PA thing. I didn't know that. I've been uh, I've been all, yes, it is a PA thing, because one of my boys just went out to Cali, and he said he was missing Sheets. So, okay, here. In, with Sheets, it's basically we can walk in, we can touch a screen, we can do this and whatnot, and we can order something, right? Um, and basically, what I'm going to tell you is what I eat, is what I eat, what I would eat for lunch. It cost me $1.00. Okay, it cost me one dollar and freaking nose hair, dude. All this, dude, this mustache got to go. Maybe next feed we'll get rid of the mustache. I can't stand this mustache. I kind of like the way it looks, but I can't stand just all right, whatever. Hot dogs, sheets, um, the Royal Farms here. That's Royal Farms here. Cool. Um, hell yeah, marshmallow ice. Marshmallow ice cream is my fave, dude. All right, so go to sheets, do -do -do -do, order. Two hot dogs. It's gonna cost you a dollar. Okay, one dollar. Um, put habanero sauce on it, right? Put dill pickles on it. Okay, are you following me? Habanero sauce, dill pickles, Old Bay seasoning with pepper jack cheese. Y'all like spicy? Um, Y'all like spicy? You got that strong gut? You think you can handle it? 
you'll probably be able to handle it, but it's oh so good. The flavors are amazing, dude. Um, so everybody got that? And if you don't have sheets, go get you some habanero sauce, get you some pepper jack, get you some Old Bay, and get you some dill pickles. Um, yes, dill pickles make the sandwich, dude, or make the hot dog. Um, LOL sounds awesome. People traditionally put sweet sweet pickle relish on on hamburgers and pickles get you some dill pickles the little slice not the slice spears but the little roundies get you some of those you've never had a hot dog until you bite into a hot dog and it crunches if your hot dog crunches game changer it's a game changer um david what's going on you do onions or tomatoes no tomatoes absolutely no tomatoes i can eat tomatoes i don't mind tomatoes not on a hot dog Onions, I could do onions on a hot dog. Um, getting late for me, dude. Gotta go. See you later, Bob. Definitely try some of the foods out. Get back at me. Let, let me know how that went. Um, let's see, David Smith. At you, brother. Uh, I, I, I think our food conversation has about run dry here, though. Uh, Bob's piecing out. We got a couple people that just piped in. Um, the, the, main part, uh, the main part of this channel was right here. Hattie. Where is he? Bam. Hattie. Battery sucked. These are the batteries that are in these, and they are, you can change them. They have, uh, let's see, bam. They have the exact same setup. They're 3.7 volt and 1,050 milliamp an hour. They're interchangeable, dude. Don't throw action camera away. Um, anybody have any questions, comments, concerns, anything they need to ask me before we end this? Because we are going to end this unless somebody says something crazy that decides to just get me going on a tangent. And it ain't going to end then. Um, <laughs> let's see here. Later, Jay. Later, brother. I'm going to dream of food tonight. You better just go get you something in your grill. Uh, definitely pop something in your grill before you go to bed. They say don't eat before you go to bed. You'll have nightmares. Dude, I ain't never had no nightmare after eating before bed. Did she keep the hair color? Yes, my wife did keep the hair color. So she has uh, she has the lighter color on top, and then the bottom parts are like uh, fiery pinkish type color. She did keep it. Um, I like it. I like it. She likes it. And bam, bam. J Drone says bam. Uh, one of you guys sent me this. Uh, one one of the viewers here sent that to me, which is pretty dope, and I like it. Um, let's see, let's talk about beer. I can't talk about beer. I my 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 beer my beer extravaganza ended a while ago. Um, I'm getting heartburn. Yes, you will get heartburn eating some of this stuff. Absolutely, gonna need to pop a Pepsi or a Tums, but uh, or drink some milk. That's why I drink milk after I eat all this nasty stuff. Uh, what is the difference in all the bugs three? Um, what do you mean? Difference in all the bugs threes. Uh, here, check it out. That's an F-100 drone. That's an F-100 ghost drone. Those are bugs clones. And we got bugs threes around here somewhere. There. That silver one is a bugs three that I uh, painted. And we got a red one back there. That's the Bugs 3. They're all the same thing, dude. They're all the same thing unless you mod them. Um, they're all the same drones. F-100, F-100 Ghost Drone, Bugs 3, uh, Drocon Bugs 3. They're all the same drones. Um, if you sniff Vicks Vapor Inhaler and drink Bloomberry, you will taste bananas. That's bananas. What you just said was bananas. That, that, whoo, that's a little bit crazier than I am. Uh, <laughs> uh, and again, I don't drink, so I'm definitely not going to try that. But somebody else might want to try that and uh, taste bananas. That, dude, that just sounds bananas. And me, by me saying it sounds bananas, it sounds like woo. Um, let's see. <laughs> Yeah, dude. I don't know. I don't know about that. Are they all equipped the same? Stock, yes. Stock, they are equipped the same. My drones, no. Um, let's flip this around. Flip it around. This blue one, let's see. This blue one over here has a panoramic camera and its grill. That red one over there has a 5.8 gigahertz camera and its grill. Um, this one over here, where is it? Bam, that silver one is just set up to carry GoPro. This black one down there is set up to carry the wall carry gimbal. And this one, I have FPV set up on it, and that one's just to fly. Um, so, 
The Bugs 3 and the F-100 drones are one of the most versatile drones for everything that I just said to you. You can mod them so easily, and they take these mods with, like, little stress. You, like, a lot of drones you can mod, and it's like, oops, I shouldn't have done that. The Bugs 3 can hang. Hey, I want a Drone Day sticker. What do I got to do? You got to get, get at me on Facebook, brother. You know me on Facebook. I know you on Facebook. Get at me on Facebook. I got plenty of them. And they are not stickers. They are decals. They are vinyl decals. A uh, lot better quality than stickers. But uh, de Roadkill, definitely get at me on uh, on uh, Facebook. Messenger me. Make a post in Drone Days. Just messenger me. You know who I am. And uh, we can definitely get you one of those out. Bugs 3 F100. So smooth with all that power. Yes! They're powerhouses. Um, there, are epic drones. Do you know of any good deals on the bugs too? Um, offhand, um, offhand, I don't. I mean, I do, but I don't. Um, if you if you type in J drone, type in J drone bugs too. Uh, which one was it? Which one? Not the black one. You want to see the red one? On a lot of my red ones, I had a code for uh, RC moment. I don't know if this code's still valid, but I think it brought it down considerably. You might want to try that. Uh, which force one and USA toys on? Watch force. Yes, or you can watch force one USA toys because the bugs two is again. Let's put this around. The Bugs 2 is the F200, which that's the F200, and the Bugs 2 is up there. Um, they're the same exact drone, just rebranded. Uh, they're just rebranded, guys. So don't, don't, bam, Force 1, yes. Don't think you got to pay lots of money for Force 1 or MGX Bugs 3 because it's the MGX name. Uh, how many FPV cameras you have? And which one is your favorite? Um, my favorite is the AKK. Um, the AKK FPV camera is my favorite camera just because, uh, one cost and two, I've had this out past a half a mile. That camera right there, I've had out past a half mile. Let's shed some light on it. Let's pop this up. Bam. There you go. You can see it. I've had that past a half a mile. Um, and dude, for the cost of it, you can't beat it. Uh, the, the, the antenna on it is breakable. It's not protected by anything. So if you whoop around, let's see, if you whoop around, this could be your end result. If you smack something, the antenna didn't break, but as you can see, there's no front on that. This was my first one and I can't use it anymore because, uh, even though I bought, dude, I bought a lens for it. I bought a lens for it, and uh, let's put this this way, or which way we put this? Bam, right there. I bought a lens to put it over it and just won't focus. Tech reviewer, hey, what up, bro? Um, what's going on? Um, so the AKK is my favorite uh, on these whoops. Let's see, where's the whoop? Whoop that, whoop that, whoop that. Bam, on these whoops, I prefer antennas like that, little whip antennas. That way, if we hit something probably ain't gonna bust off the antenna the the akk more more outside for me uh that, that's more of an outside camera for me in the wide open um the one that i busted i was playing around a playground i smacked the top of uh one of the one of the crossbars of the swing sets and uh eh, couldn't find the eye for it um dope whoop 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 um this is the what is this zero eleven zero eleven that had a little wizard lego guy on it that i modded on the top of this and uh just screw down mount from uh, maker fire <clears throat> simple setup had to solder it to the board <clears throat> i don't think uh i should have other whoops sitting here but i don't see them my whoops have uh whooped out the building um here bam i can show you a sweet one <clears throat> there's a sweet one right there that's uh that's the bugs three mini that's the bugs three mini that i i've whooped and uh let's see bam there we go a little camera in there kind of waterproofed around the board um have it sitting on like foam pads and whatnot did you modify that the antenna no this is the akk's antenna um that that's the akk's camera uh, and you're drooling, um, dude, d this is dope. And I have yet to really, really fly it because of the cold weather, man. Um, and then battery, battery supply on there has no problem lifting all this can fly like a beast. And, uh, that's the setup. This is a bugs three. What? It's a bugs three mini. I was fortunate enough to actually get one of them. Um, and not too many people have them. Bam. 
that's the canopy for it. Itty bitty little canopy. Um, as soon as we can buy, hit me, bro. Yeah, absolutely. I've been trying to get in touch with my MJX people because I want one of the Bugs 8 Pros. Um, thanks for the food talk with some drone chat. I read slow. Um, thanks for the... Uh, got a jet. All right, brother. Um, it was good seeing you over here. We saw you over at MD's feed. You're, dude, you're everywhere, man. Um, happy you could, uh, happy you could be over here with me as well. Um, but all right, guys. Anybody else have any questions, comments, concerns? This is about a hundred times that I've said it. Anybody else want to say anything down there to keep me going? Um, Jay, you're a wild man. I like your live streams. Have a great night. You have a great night, too. Um... I'm wild. I'm crazy. Absolutely, I'm crazy. Um, I'm very personable, too. Like, I did, did this, what we got going on here, this is me in real life. I go into a grocery store, and I, I start talking to people like I've known them forever. Generally, not regular people walking around shopping, but generally, like, the people that are working there uh, that, that I'd feel inclined to actually engage. I like engaging people, um, as opposed to, bam, got, got to get the bread and milk. Got to get the bread and milk. Those type of people that are, bam, beeline. Find that bread. Find that milk. Bam. Nah, dude, I'm in there. If I'm getting bread and milk, dude, I'm getting bread and milk, but I, I'm, I'm jabber John and I'm having a good time and I'm trying to make other people have a good time. That's just, uh, that's why I am. Um, I don't like, I don't like walking that straight line. I like to deviate and walk around and, you know, have a good time. But all right, guys, I'm Jay Drone. Um, again, reason for this feed. Your action cameras take these types of batteries. They're 3.7. Holy stand in the house. Good, you came in at the right time, brother. Stand in the house. Um, hat cam stand. Bugs 8 Pro looks bad. It does look bad. It is basically, it's a Bugs 8, but with acro. Um, so, hat cam need a new battery. These batteries are interchangeable, 3.7. Um, just pop them out, put a new battery in it. And hopefully, Hattie won't say low power or low voltage or whatever she says. She talks, dude. Um, but yeah, so, uh, and then we talked about some food stand. If you've never tried a Fluffernutter sandwich, go ahead and Google that Fluffernutter sandwich, fluffing peanut butter, uh, Old Bay hot dogs. Make sure you try some of them stand. Probably think, what is going on here? You, you'll see when you rewatch the feed, if you have time to rewatch the feed and uh chili ramen, check you out some chili ramen guys. I'm J drone. Every single person in here. I appreciate you. Um, I love that Hattie camera. Yes. Hattie. Bam. You even know the name, dude. Um, um, yeah, Hattie's cool. Um, I'll rewatch it absolutely because we're winding up here. Uh, peace, uh, yes, MD. Peace and the regulators out. Um, son of a bleep. Later, bro. And uh, everybody else in here, roadkill, definitely get at me. I don't know if I'm. Yeah, I'll, I'll be online a little bit later, but we could coordinate details about the decals and whatnot. So everybody have a good night. Fly safe, be safe, and if you need anything from me, down in the comments below. Hit return and I'll get back at you. And you, if you have not subscribed to this channel already, smash that subscribe button. And uh, yes, catch me on Messenger, brother. Smash the subscribe button. Smash that like button. And uh, I'll catch you on the flip side. Definitely have some more videos for you uh, tomorrow. And who knows? Maybe we'll go live again. I think this is the third day in a row, which is crazy. Um, but uh, I enjoy it. I enjoy you guys. Take care, guys. Bam. Bam.